This is Honey by Andrea Gibson. I apologize for not having an intro, but I promise I'll have one by next week. <clears throat> she keeps her makeup in the ceramic bowl of bullets beside a jelly jar full of gardenas. On an old dresser in Mississippi. Where outside tomato plants grow in the bellies of old boats and she carries a knife just in case she finds something she wants to carve her name into. I swear to God, if I had an Adam's apple, I would tell her to peel it and take a bite. Meaning this time, I'm not turning back, I'm not turning in, I'm turning over all the leaves and my leaving, I'm moonlighting as the moonlight. My shine is working over time just to hear her call me honey. It makes me feel like the bee's knees, like I can finally get rid of my key, my past like a keys to a getaway car. Like all my messing up might finally be out of gas, like there will be no more war fought in my name. What if my name is nothing but honey? Do you realize I gave up on this in my 20s? You're the first thing I wrote on a vision board. I cannot wait to tell you the truth better than I've ever told the truth before. And no, that does not mean that I'm going to tell you that you look like Marilyn Monroe. But you do, and it makes me want to run for president like Jesus freaking Kennedy. Do you have any idea how gorgeous you are when you're tripping? Literally tripping. I have never met anyone more clumsy in my life. You... You walk into a room and turn every head when you crash to the floor and I'm like, that's my girl! That's my girl with the busted lip and no, she's not embarrassed, that's the sunburn from my moonlight. Now come bring me Shirley Temp- Now come bring me Shirley Temple. I'm going to trampoline every inch of cement in this town. And she's gonna teach me how to mix- She's going to teach me how to bounce back mixing her Southern Polite with her New Orleans getaway, honey. I wanna hear every story about your whole life. Tell me again about your ghetto blaster birthday cake. Tell me again how you're the master pumpkin carver. Tell me again how you never ever been to therapy. Why does that turn me on? You have a friend who tattooed the words you wish on her ring finger, and I have a friend who pulled out her tampon in the streets of Manhattan and threw it on Miss Onage's cop. We perfect for each other. Come drink like a fish in my desert city. I want to be the fairy in your Irish pub. I want to be your pretty boy. I want you to tell all your friends that you're out of my league so I can give you a high five when I'm sliding into home. So when I start writing down our 11 public poems, you know you can burn all my books if I, if I don't live up to my word. If you have any doubt that I'm going to live up to your altitude of your highest hopes, remember it's for you that I overcame my fear of flying. For you that I learned the ropes of rescue remedy. Do not under any circumstances rip off the top of that bottle and start chugging it like booze you'll freak out everyone on the plane and trust me you do not need 30,000 you do not need enemies at 30,000 feet honey you just need to know that this is the first time I've ever done this without looking for an exit row and I'm pretty sure my seat can't float but I've already fallen from the sky for you I already said no to the parachute. I already told my mother you curse like a sailor and you love like the war is finally over and you're running down a dock in the harbor and you're screaming my name. You're screaming honey and I'm screaming don't trip and you're screaming honey honey and I'm screaming baby don't fall down. I am running for your red lips. I am running for your red heart. It's my red heart. Red is a Mississippi sunset. Honey, honey, honey. Thank you for judging. Thank you for timekeeping.